In this So Easy video lesson, I'm going to bring to life one of the pages of the Easy Quilt Summer 2010 edition. On page 87, the So Easy lesson is how to make piping for your pillow top. Piping makes for a very professional finished look on a pillow, and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you do is cut your strips to cover your piping, and then using a zipper foot, you baste them around the piping. Now, I've cut these so that my seam allowances are about a quarter of an inch, and I'm using a long stitch to baste them. Then, once you've done that, you will sew them to the edges of just the right side of your pillow top. My backing isn't in here as I'm doing this, and I'm basting them down. Notice also that I've rounded the corners of my pillow so that I'll have nice rounded corners instead of square ones. as I come back to the beginning where I started stitching, you can see why I left a little bit of tail when I started my stitching, a little tail of that piping. What I'm going to do is just overlap them as neatly as I can and then just stitch across them. Now I'll trim what's extra away and now I can finish my pillow. Now to finish my pillow, I will put my backing face down on my pillow top. And the pillow top, of course, is facing right sides up. And notice also that my piping is now caught in the middle. Now I will switch to a regular stitch and I'll stitch all the way around, overlapping my stitching at the, when I come back to the beginning again. Now my pillow is ready to turn right side out and ready for its pillow form and voila! I have a pillow with beautiful piping. I'm Jody Davis. Look for more videos like this on quiltersclubofamerica.com. I make them for every issue of Easy Quilts.